The reality that needs to be said out loud is that as black men age, their desirability increases. Thus, their optionality of women is always expanding. And the exact opposite is true for black women. Mm -hmm. As we age, doesn't matter how much money we accumulate, our degrees or professional accolades, the reality is that our marriage and partnership market value is depreciating with every passing year. No matter how good we look, no matter how fit we are, men are still seeing primarily our presumed dwindling fertility as a knock against us. And speaking of fertility, that is another reason that I want younger black women to seek marriage and partnership in college or right after, if that's what they choose. Because the number of college-educated black men is so low when compared to black college-educated women that we're all going to be targeting the same small pool of men. And as we heard today, on most campuses, there's like seven black women students for every one black man student. Y'all do the math. So here's my advice. If you are a young black woman in college and you know in your heart and in your head that you want to prioritize family, I suggest that you simultaneously pursue that MRS degree right along with that BA or JD. Because the handful of black college age men that actually do desire to get married soon and they do share that value system and family is a priority for them too. Y'all, that is an incredibly small pool and it's shrinking as you get older. And by the time you reach my age, 40, you will be faced with different choices relating to life partnership and motherhood. Now, I'm not saying that delaying marriage or motherhood is a bad option, but it's one that comes with its own consequences. And our women deserve to know on the front end of their decision making instead of on the back half. 